hello guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in this video we're gonna go ahead and start working with the save favorite post function in this one users will be able to save their favorite post and it's going to be stored in their profile just like um instagram does the original instagram does so let's go ahead and get started but before we do this i think we need to go ahead and create another app that we will be storing the favorite post so earlier i told you guys that users will be storing the post in their profile so when they hop over to their profile and hop over to the saved tab or something like that then they'll see all their saved all the saved posts but right now we don't have any application that's actually um referencing the profile of a user all we've just got now is just um post this one over here we've just got post and yeah that's it we need to create another app that's going to store the user's um profile and authentication and all that so we're gonna say python manage.py start app and let's name it you let's name it user auths something like that or we can name it auth users whatever you want to do so i'm going to name it user auths that's user authentication okay so let's go ahead and run the server again now okay there, i think there's no need to run the server we still need to make migrations because we're going to add something in the model over here so open up the user odds open up models.py and want to import couple things we want to say from django.contrib.auth.models we want to import user just like this not user creation form rather just user like that and we want to define a, a class of profile so this is going to take in as usual models dot model like that okay and we need a couple to for example we need like the first name this should be models this should be models dot char field models dot models dot char field and it's gonna have a max length of let's say it's gonna have a max length of 100 so i'm just gonna stop for now here because actually this video is not going to show you how to create user profile but rather show you how to save posts to user profile so the next thing we take note we're still gonna go ahead and create the first name last name bio address um url link that's gonna be on their profile just like instagram but this video is mainly for showing you how to save posts to the user profile so we won't be doing all that in this video now we'll just skip over to adding a favorite a favorite like this and before we do this we need to import from posts.models on post.models we need to import post like this so further it is going to be models dot many to many field and it's going to have many to many field of posts just like that so i think we're going to stop here or we can even get rid of this one um let's just get rid of this one right out what we should add there is user i'm just going to get rid of this and i'm going to say user should be equal to models dot one to one field and we're going to pass in user also we're going to pass in on the lead should be equal to models dot cascade so for now don't bother about learning what all this does i'm still going to explain it in the upcoming video you should be more concentrated on what this one over here does so with this now i think that's pretty much it we can just define it down the str so we actually know the user that owns the profile so we're going to say define underscore underscore str passing self then we we'll simply need to return on user dot username okay don't worry if you don't understand what all this does but i actually explained it in the other videos but if you don't understand as we keep going you're going to understand clearly what all this does so we need to install the profile in our admin so we need to say from rather from user odds dot dot models we need to import profile just like that not user profile but just profile okay now we're going to say admin dot site dot register and we need to pass in profile okay like that now we need to come over here and run server again so we're gonna say rather not running server rather we need to say make migrations so python manage.py make migrations like this okay no changes detected and also we need to migrate migrate <clears throat> okay with this now it's not going to work because we haven't installed it in our settings.py so that's why nothing is working we need to come over here and we need to say user user odds just like this now let's try doing the make migration and migrate again so we're going to say make migration let's just get rid of this for now and as you can see it's made a migration and we can also go ahead and say migrate okay when it migrates now what we need to do is go ahead and run our server for the last time and open up a browser or whatever i'm gonna open up um a browser let me just open this up over here give it a sec it's opening up and i'm gonna run this 
okay so i'm gonna come over to slash post anonymous user okay that's what i want so we need to log in to the admin panel login with destiny we log in and now you can see that we've got profiles over here so when we open up profiles you see we have zero profile how about if you want to add a profile um for destiny now this is what i actually want to show you guys so you can see this is all the posts that we've got maybe destiny might actually want to make the beautiful house one of his favorite posts and also the beautiful pumpkin one of his favorite posts and we can go ahead and save this okay he says name user is not defined let's see i think that should be in the models.py if i'm not mistaken yeah that should be in the models.py line 10 okay okay you know what i'm just gonna comment this out for now just like that wait there yeah, let's just comment it out for now everything is still gonna work fine let's see okay as you can see it's added one object now destiny has a favorite post of beautiful house and beautiful pumpkin but we don't want to actually manually come to the back end and do it this way we want to allow the users automatically click on the okay let me just hop over here to slash post not portfolio create or post so we want users to automatically click on this thing and it would automatically save the post to the back end for them so how do you go about with that now we need to hop over to the post app views.py i'm gonna close all this up i'm just gonna open up post and i'm gonna open up views.py so we need to create a new function and this one is gonna be named favorite so we're gonna say define favorite not fake correct but favorites just like that and it's gonna take in um, a couple things it's gonna take in a request and it's also gonna take in post ID I think that's what we've got in our models over here post ID here that's it okay so you took in post ID and that and you already know why it's taken in post ID if you followed up with the last video where we created a function for the like then you're gonna know why it's taken in post ID but if you did the, if you don't know it's taken in post ID so that it would automatically detect the post that it's about to save as the favorite hopefully you understand or if it's for the like it's automatically detect the post that it's about to like so that's why we're using post id now if there's no post id here then it should be getting all the whole post at once but if there's a post id it will get one post that the user is interested in getting okay so with that the next thing we need to do is go ahead and define user should be equal to request dot user and not request the username but request dot user and the next thing we need to get post so we're gonna say post should be equal to post dot object dot get. I think I, I already did that here. Um, I can just go ahead and grab this one. I'm feeling kind of lazy to type, and I'm gonna put it down there. Now the next thing we need to do is simply check if if the the post that the user is trying to add as favorite already exists. So for example, let me explain what that is. So if I'm as you can see over here, beautiful house is already Destiny's favorite post. And beautiful pumpkin so how about I try adding beautiful house again now wh what do you think is gonna happen okay so the functionality one right is to remove it so since it's already a like a favorite post of destiny now when destiny want to add it again it should remove it this time around but if it's not for example cool lake is not a it's not a what it's not a favorite post so if destiny want to add it it can go ahead and add itself so hopefully you understand okay let me just go ahead and get rid of this one it's just beautiful house in pumpkin okay so in order to write a functionality we're simply gonna say um if profile dot favorite dot filter so if profile dot favorite dot filter and i think okay let's just keep going first we're still gonna get an error and we're gonna try fixing it so if profile if profile dot favorite dot filter and what do we want to filter by i want to filter by id should be equal to post underscore id dot exist so if the post exists then what we want to do we simply want to go ahead and remove it so we're going to say profile dot favorite dot remove and it's a method so we're going to call that and we're going to pass in post so we're trying to remove a post like that okay so hopefully you understand what's going on now we need to go to the top and import the model that we in that we created in the models the py in the user us app so we're gonna say from 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 what is it called from user arts dot models we want to import profile here okay 
So then over here now we can do profile that favorites that remove. So why are we doing profile that favorite that removes? It's because in the models of py we have a name profile, we have a field favorites. Okay, so we're trying to remove this post over here that destiny added as his favorite. Okay, it's gonna try an error because we haven't actually comp completed it for now. So let's just go ahead and keep writing the functionality down. Okay, so how about but how about the post already exists? What do we want to do? For example, let's say, you know, what we did over here was check if the post already exists, then we remove it. Like if Destiny has already added this post as a favorite and it's trying to add it again, then we should remove it that time around. But how about he hasn't added it? Then what we want to go, what we want to do is simply go ahead and add it. So we're simply still going to copy the same thing, come over here and we're going to put it down here. Then this time around, we're going to say add. And what are we adding? We are adding posts. Okay, so with this now, I think that should be it. Now, let's just go ahead and return the HTTP response because we don't want to return um, a template or something like that. We're just going to return a HTTP response redirect and it's going to take in a reverse. And where are we reversing to? I think we should just go to the post detail. Yes, we should go to the post details. And also, it needs to take in another argument. So it needs to recognize the the particular ID of the post that it should go to, that should be post ID that will passed in here. Okay. Hopefully you understand everything that's going on. I don't know. We might get an error, but let's go ahead and run it and see if there is an error. If there's any error, then we're going to go ahead and fix it. Okay. So let's create a URL for it. It's going to look exactly like this. This one is going to be favorite. This one over here is going to be favorites just because this one is favorites. Okay. And the name too should be favorite. Okay, so with this now, I think I think that should be it. Let's go ahead and and run our server and see if it's running. Oh yes, it is. Now we refresh this. Working. So what we need to do is grab a post. I'm I'm gonna grab. Okay, before that, as you can see over here, Cool Lake is not Destiny's liked post. But I want to manually do this now because we haven't configured the URL yet. So I want to grab a post Cool Lake. And I'm gonna grab the ID, okay? Then I'm gonna come over here, paste the ID. As you can see, this is it, cool lake. How about if I come over to slash favorite? So if I come over to slash favorite that we've got over here, what's gonna happen? Okay, so this is what I actually wanna get. So it says name profile is not defined. Okay, so what we need to do now is go ahead and actually make this work. We actually are getting this error right now that's that's not actually that says profile name is not defined. That's because I think I missed the line. I was supposed to actually get the profile of the user. So I'm gonna say profile variable is equal to profile.objects.get user is equal to user. So I'm trying to get um like the logged in user at the moment. Okay, hopefully you understand. So now let's try running this stuff again and see if it works this time around. Okay, it says name profile is not defined. I think there should be an error somewhere. This is it. Okay, refresh again, refresh again. Okay. I think it's worked. Let's come over here and refresh. Let's see what we've got. Come over to profile, open this up. And what do you notice? Cool Lake is now one of the favorite posts. And if you don't still understand how this is working, let's try working on computer. So this is how it works. The dark one is the one that's added as favorites. The one that isn't dark is not a favorite post. So let's try adding working on a computer as favorites for destiny. So I'm going to come over to working on a computer and I'm going to grab the ID. I'm going to come over here and Let's just put in this ID over there like that. And we're going to put in slash favorite. Favorite. Okay, it just refreshes the page. Let's get back here. And what do you think is going to happen when we open this up? Working on the computer would now be dark. Okay, as you can see. So it's working. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and configure the, the link so that we're, we don't have to manually pass it in, in the URL like this, but we just have to click on this over here. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to open up the template and I'm going to open up Mm, let's let's get, head over to index.html and we need to look for the like okay this like now we need to manually look for the the favorite um that's gonna be let's see favorite okay guys so i told you we need to automatically um click on this and make it save instead of manually putting it in the url so what we need to do is locate the button and i'm going to change this to an a tag and I'm going to also add in a href in here. We need to pass in URL and what is it called? What's the URL called? Let's go. Let's hop over to uh, urls.py and let's say, as you can see, it's called favorites. So we're going to head back here. 
put this in favorites and what do you think is going to be the next thing that we should do we also need to add in post.id over here okay so now let's refresh this and see if it works it does and over here now we can see all this beautiful post so for beautiful house let's let's um, look for beautiful house this is working on a computer if you noticed it's over here so I'm gonna click on it again come over here and refresh it's gone and let's look for something else um, okay let's add t-shirts so you see t-shirts is not a favorite post I'm gonna add it t-shirt and what do you notice refresh it's now a favorite post okay so I think that's it you guys understand how how it's working right I think that's pretty much what we will be doing in this video okay guys that should be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new and if you did do not forget to drop a like on this video and consider subscribing definitely some of you might get errors and you wouldn't know how to debug them just drop a comment in the section i'm always there i'll reply all my comments helping you guys debug your errors or you can just reach out to me on instagram or snapchat or whatsapp i'm everywhere okay so i think i'll get you guys in the next video where we're going to go ahead and start working with the user profile um you see where we created a user profile here um let me just go ahead and look for real quick over here models as you can see it's not robust we just have like one field or let's just say two but in the next video we're going to go ahead and work with the user profile so users can see how many people they are following how many posts they've got their favorite posts their informations bio name profile pictures and all that so i will see you guys in the next video for now my love peace out